or does that not seem right? See, I just wanna go back to playing tag and riding my bike. Damn light, now could you tell me when you get so hard? I remember my biggest worry were my Pokemon cards. Hey, what is going on guys? And we got some MW2 gameplay that I got here quick on Free For All. And going with that, we have another tips for small YouTubers coming in on this fine Friday. And this week's is all about Google Plus, something that probably six months ago I'd have told you I would have never used, never would have touched. It was dirty and everybody hated it. Well, the truth is, some a few good things did come out of Google Plus. I actually did get involved about a month or two ago with a Google Plus community, which at the time I'd never heard of a Google Plus community, and you may have never heard of a Google Plus community either. But the truth was, these Google Plus communities were actually very helpful to me. So I joined uh, one that Quest Gods had offered to me. He said, you know, I'm gonna invite you to this community and I joined it and it, I don't believe it was an open community, it was one where anybody could join and anybody could post their videos there, they could have a discussion there, uh, if people were doing live streams they would post up their live stream event there and people would know when it's coming and they would receive updates when it was coming this way they would be sure to be watching that live stream. It was a great way for me to get involved with other smaller YouTubers and just reach out to them. And to me, that's the only good thing that may have ever came out of Google Plus is the community feature. So now, obviously, I've went along and created my own community on Google Plus in hopes of drawing in some of the smaller YouTubers who I know and giving them the opportunity to post their content on this community that I will be monitoring, I will be responding to comments on, I will be just checking out all the time, watching for various comments by people on. So basically, I've linked that community in the description now. Some of you guys may still understand what a Google Plus community is. Now, without trying to make it seem like I'm trying to sell it for Google, a Google Plus community actually is a pretty good thing. Now, what it's going to do is, if you do join up my community, I called it the gaming realm of YouTube because it's basically all about gaming YouTubers. And some of you guys have already received invites in your notification bar on YouTube.com if you're on desktop. Now, what it's going to do is you can post stuff there, you can have a discussion there, you can obviously post your videos there, which is going to be the big thing. It's going to give you a chance to reach out to other people, and I feel like on the gaming gaming community channel on YouTube that I was on now, it's not actually a community channel, I should not call it that, on the gaming community, just a community on Google Plus that I was on, actually worked out really well for me. I found different people. and. I think it's a great opportunity for everybody so what you can do on there is when you get into my community if you decide to join and it is open to anybody you can post your videos there and people who have their notifications on now not everybody's gonna have their notifications on they will receive an update that you have posted this video there that you've made this comment there now to some people that's gonna get very annoying very quickly that all these notifications could be coming in about this one community now you can disable your notifications and it is rather obvious how you do it but I feel like if you disable your notifications you're kind of ruining the whole thing for everybody so I'm gonna keep my notifications on this way I know when you guys are posted and maybe some of you guys will also keep your notifications on this way you know when people are applying to you or whatnot and I'm not quite sure how it works because it is somewhat fuzzy to me still but it might be possible that even if you do have your notifications off it'll still tell you if somebody replies to your video or one-ups your video because that's a big thing on the Google Plus community is the whole one-upping thing and I know people do that in the comments section on YouTube already but it is very effective in the Google Plus because when you one-up somebody's it automatically goes into their notification feed so they're seeing that you know they're what you're their video is being watched by you. So I do think it is a great opportunity for everybody to maybe, you know, diversify their audience by joining a Google Plus community. And if you guys have not been invited to one yet, feel free to join mine. It is open and you can be sure to post your videos there, any discussions you want to have there. Maybe you want to meet some other people and collaborate there. But I've only had it up for maybe 50 minutes and I have about 35 members already. So it is getting going pretty quickly. A lot of you guys know that in an hour, you could never have gotten 30 some subscribers on YouTube, so it is going to give you a bit of an audience boost, I do think. So be sure to check that out and get in there. And if you're a live streamer, get in there too. Get your events up. You can post events. I really like the event posting. And then we will be notified of when your event happens. So hopefully the Google Plus thing does help everybody out. Be sure to check out my community, and I will have it linked in the description. Thank you guys all for stopping by. Okay.